Hello everyone, Mike with Spray Jones. Alright, you've made your decision based on watching these videos that you now want spray foam. And you're going to put it in your house, your barn, your shed, your new commercial building that you're building for your shop. And your Uncle Pete comes to you and says, yeah, but doesn't that stuff give off toxic smoke if it burns? Well, there we go. That is a very common statement when all else all the other objections have failed everything has come to a head usually somebody says yeah but toxic smoke well let's get into it let's look at the facts on this because it's going to be pretty fascinating and how simple this is to discern what is truth so the easiest way that we are going to evaluate whether toxic smoke from foam is credible is to take a look at this report from the American Chemistry Council and I'm going to provide a link in the description of this video that you can download this PDF and read it for yourself but let's take a look at what it says here and I'm going to jump to second line what is the most abundant toxicant in fires and the answer in bold print is carbon monoxide in terms of hazard carbon monoxide CO is typically the most abundant toxicant in fires almost all combustion conditions and it's responsible for most death in fires but I'm going to scroll down here to where they come and talk about information specific to polyurethane products because that's what the video is about polyurethanes refer to a wide range of products that include flexible foams used in furniture automobiles rigid foams used in building insulation durable coatings adhesive sealants and even certain items of apparel can polyurethane products burn well of course they can right many of them have um, fire suppression and uh, other attributes that keep them from delaying ignition retarding combustion right as it says here reduce surface burn characteristics however Here's the Q&A. Do polyurethane products emit smoke when burning? Yes, like any material in a fire. And the amount of smoke generated is dependent upon a number of factors, including the type of material burning, the amount of oxygen available, and so forth. But do polyurethane products produce a unique toxicity risk in a fire? No. While a range of airborne chemicals may be emitted during the fires involving polyurethane foams, all combustible materials produce toxic smoke when burned, including wood. In terms of hazard, <coughs> carbon monoxide is typically the most abundant toxicant in fires under almost all combustion conditions, right? And there may be nitrogen oxide, hydrogen cyanide, and so on and so forth, but the main composition is going to be carbon monoxide monoxide. So do fires involving polyurethane present a significantly greater health risk than fires with uh, synthetic or natural fibers? No. Smoke from a fire that involves polyurethane products does not represent a significantly greater health risk than uh, fires with other natural materials and so on and so forth. Um, does polyurethane foam insulation in a home present an increased risk of exposure to toxicants and the answer is no research has shown that in a fire uh, combustion of products that contain organic materials will produce similar smoke toxicants for example the combustion of wood and polyurethane foam insulation will produce carbon monoxide it is the most abundant toxicant in fires almost all combustion conditions it is important to remember that building safety codes and other protective measures like the use of flame retardants are in place to prevent fires from starting and to provide building occupants with valuable escape time and it goes on to talk about how are they protected that's going to be drywall uh, we have a number of spray applied fireproof products but in Canada the building code does not mandate that the foam itself is tested for smoke toxicity there is no nationalized test that is referenced in the national building code so out of all of the physical properties in the report you are not going to see smoke toxicity tested you'll see surface burn characteristics and there's a specific ulc test for that but not how toxic is the smoke and the reason being is that all smoke is toxic and that if you breathe in any smoke, red oak flooring, um, the smoke from one 
piece of furniture burning up, it's going to kill you. And if you look at the amount of layers of protection, we've got the contents of the house being far more toxic and destructive to your health and to any kind of living space than the foam, which is going to be in the walls, behind drywall. So a, a lot of fire has to happen. A lot of burning has to happen. A lot of heat is produced. A lot of smoke is produced. You'll be dead long before you ever get to the flames and the smoke produced by it uh, in the walls. So I'm going to provide this report in the description. You can download it, check it out for yourself. This is just a short video to say, here are the facts. Check it out for yourselves. The spray foam is no more toxic than any other product. Thank you and have a good day.